Good morning, guys. I was going to do this video as a separate video on this channel, but since this is a morning show, it's kind of fitting. I have been looking for a good pillow for a long time. I have like nine pillows on my bed. I'm not even kidding. And, you know, they go flat or they stay real puffy or they're too firm or they're too soft or, you know, so I've been looking for a good pillow for a long time. I came across this one at Mark's the other day. Mark's is a discount store. I don't know how they got these things, but I got this for $10. This is like a $100 pillow. And what this is called, it's an authentic Talatec latex foam pillow. It is super soft. I mean, you just bury your face in it. <laughs> This is a queen size. It's not marked on here whether it's soft, medium, or firm, but I would have to say this one's probably a medium. As it reads on the package here, it says it contours neck for ideal comfort and support, antimicrobial and dust mite resistant, naturally hypoallergenic. Uh, it's made in the USA, and like I said, the brand is Authentic Talatec. This is what it looks like right here. I actually bought two of these, so let me uh, show you the one that I've been using. So this is what it looks like without the pillowcase on it. You can see there are like a ton of little holes in there. This is like one giant piece of latex in here. It's not solid. You see how it'll bend real easy, and then it just kind of bounces right back into place. And when you sleep on it, I mean, if you lift your head up, it just goes right back into place. It is super comfortable. I love this pillow. The only problem with it is that it smells like latex. It smells like rubber gloves. Not horribly, but enough to where you can smell it, especially in the middle of the night when you wake up and you want to flip it over to get to the cold side. And it does a great job staying cold. But when you flip it over and you bury your head back in it, you can immediately smell that latex. I don't know what to do yet about it to get that smell out of there, or if it's even possible. I've searched YouTube, I've searched Google, I have searched all over the internet looking for some kind of, I don't know, a cure <laughs> for the smell, for lack of a better way to put it. Because that's just, that's the worst thing about it. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you flip it over for the cold side, you lay back down, and instantly you smell that, and it interrupts your sleep. Now this one has a cover on it, obviously, and it doesn't give you the option of removing that cover without having to cut it off, which I'd really rather not do. But you can look online and see what the pillow itself looks like without this cover on it. And like I said, it's just like a big, thick piece of rubber. It's heavy, it's like six, seven pounds at least. Very bouncy. Very squishy, and it's so comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable this thing is. But it's just that smell. That's the worst part about it. I thought about using Febreze on it, but then you're just inhaling Febreze all night long. I assume over time, as you put your freshly washed pillowcases on, the smell from that will just kind of absorb into this pillow. I don't know. I'll have to come back and do an update later on. But it's definitely a pillow that I'm going to use for a long time. It immediately became my favorite pillow. It took a couple days to get used to that smell, but the comfort of this pillow alone is enough to make you deal with the smell for now. So like I said, I will do an update after a while here, let you guys know if that smell goes away at all. But other than that, absolutely awesome pillow. I don't know if it's worth a hundred bucks, but I suppose if you're comparing it to things like how much money do I spend on McDonald's and just, you know, things that I want and don't need impulse buys, it's well worth $100. I mean, think about it. If you go to the grocery store on your way out, you can buy like a candy bar and a pop and that's four or five bucks right there. Then you run through McDonald's and you easily spend $10 for your lunch. That's 15 And if you do that again later on in a day, that's 25 30 bucks right there. That money is just totally gone in a matter of minutes. If you do that four times in one month, that's $100 flush down a toilet you'll never see again. Where if you bought a $100 pillow that's super soft and you love it, you're going to have it for a long, long, long time. So if you look at it that way, $100 for an awesome pillow is well worth it. And let me just say I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I wish I were. <laughs> if I were getting paid, I probably would not even have told you about the smell. But this is an honest review of this pillow. Nobody's paying me to say anything specific about it. So you're getting the real deal. Let me just look at the tags here a minute. I was going to take the tag off, but I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> oh, 
like, oh, this is so stupid. Yeah, it doesn't say anything special on the tag here, just all new material consisting of latex foam. Certification is made by the manufacturer. The materials in this article are described in accordance by law. So nothing special on the tag there, but, uh, but it's a great pillow. So if you guys are considering trying one of these out, I would highly recommend it. Just gotta figure out what to do about that smell. It smells like a bag of rubber gloves in the middle of the night. <laughs> if you have any specific questions about this pillow, please feel free to post them below. Um, you know, I'm sure I haven't covered everything that people are wondering about pillows. When I sleep, I have one arm under my pillow and my head on top. I will bunch it up. I will twist it up. You know, I, I do. I put my pillows through heck at night. <laughs> I wake up with headaches in the morning and I will bunch it up under my neck. And this pillow has just been perfect for all of that. So... Like I said, have any questions, post them below. I'll do my best to answer. I did notice you can get these on eBay for about 50, 60 bucks. So at least that's about half price of what you'd pay if you went to the actual website and bought one. The only other thing I noticed about this is that between the two, they are both marked as queen pillows. There is nothing different marked on the packaging. This one seems to be a little heavier than the other one. And there was a whole box of them there. Each one that I picked up seemed to have its own different weight. So I don't know if these were seconds that I was buying or if that's what you're looking at whenever you buy one of these anyway. Personally, I really liked the heavy pillow. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that this morning because I just don't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to this today. But I know a lot of people are out there looking for good pillows, so I thought that I would share my experience with this. Again, it's called the Authentic Talatec Latex Foam Pillow. About 50, 60 bucks on eBay, 100 bucks on their own website. Or if you have a Mark's Discount Store, you might get lucky. I got these for 10 bucks a piece. If this review has helped you out, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Leave any questions you have about the pillows, and I will do my best to answer them. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. And let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>